Hi folks, Chris Schmidt, Key West Makers. I should be out on the ocean today kayaking, but we've got some thunderstorms moving through the area, so I'm gonna do kick out a few shop projects today. Those of you who watch my videos fairly regularly know that I made a trip to Wisconsin last summer and picked up some of the equipment that I had left there when we moved to Key West. Among that was this jointer, which is sitting in the back of my shop and sort of creating mayhem and disarray in my shop back there because I have a fairly narrow shop. It's less than 10 feet wide side to side. So I need to get that thing on a mobile base where I can move it out of the way when it's not in use and roll it back out when I need to do some planing. But when I am planing, I need that thing to sit very, very firmly on the ground. So I've got the, I just ordered these uh, casters, these lifting casters, if you will. I'm gonna make a mobile base. And when I need to roll it around, this will, by put pressing down in the lever will lift it off the ground. I can roll it around on my indoor outdoor carpet that I have here in the shop. And when I'm using it, lift these and get the whole unit sitting firmly on the ground. Seemed like a good plan. We'll see how it works in practice. Let's get started. So the base of my jointer is 13 inches wide by 17 and a half inches long, but I also have these little tabs at the base that we have to think about and worry about. So the basic idea is going to look like this. The sides of the base are 17 and a half inches long. And then I have a 13 inch distance between here. This is a top down view. But on the ends to support the wheels here, I'm going to put another extra piece in here. And I would put a full piece all the way across, except I have these little tabs at the bottom of the base that I have to deal with. So I'll do something like that. From the side, do something kind of cute like this. And then we'll have the end piece screwed in, right? And then the wheels will somehow mount, and the wheels will mount on the ends, right? So somehow here, something like that. On the very ends of it, this is the side. On the very ends, maybe we'll do something that is similar. On the inside lip, we'll put something that will hold the base and it can sit on it. Not a full platform, just something around the ridge in here. Fair enough, let's give it a shot. And originally I was going to make this out of plywood, but I'm going to make it out of MDF because that's what I found laying around in the shop today. This piece will be one of the end pieces. And since I need 13 inches in between, plus I need three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch, this will be 14 and a half inches long. The actual length of the base is 17 and a quarter inches. Plus I have these little tabs that will sit in here that are an extra inch long. So 17 and a quarter and I need 18 and a quarter. 19 and a quarter. This full piece has to be 19 and a quarter inches long. Let's cut that one, those as well. Should go something like this. Now let's cut these profiles out of the sides here. Here's our original design. Let's see if we can get that angle and then trace that out on each of them. With the four main pieces cut, I can start assembling. Eventually this will be held together with glues and screws, but for now I'm gonna just start with glue and then I'll come back later when the glue's dried and put some screws in really firm it up. Consult the old drawing here to make sure that we're doing this correctly. Longs go inside of the shorts, okay. While the glue's drying here, I'm going to make these four corner pieces that are here to help support the casters and give it a little bit more rigidity where the casters attach. So I'm just gonna trace these guys out. Go cut them on the bandsaw, I will be back. So I got all the corner pieces made, we'll just get them clamped and glued in here as well.
Okay, folks, now that it's all sanded, I want to just put these little trim pieces around the inside, which I cut earlier on the table saw. And this is what the, um, the base will actually sit on. So I'm going to glue them in. I'll come back tomorrow, screw them in. I'll put a finish on here, put the wheels on. We'll wrap this whole thing up. Well, folks, we're in the home stretch here. The polyurethane is dry, and I'm about to put the casters on. The polyurethane I use is an oil-based polyurethane. If you use a water-based, it tends to swell up the MDF a little bit. You have to be careful with that. The casters I got on Amazon, and I will put a link in the description below. When you get the casters, they'll need to be assembled. There's just a washer and a nut, but I would leave one disassembled so that you can mark out where it's going to mount on the frame. And I will mount these casters so that the bottom edge of it is an inch and three quarters from the bottom edge of my base. That will give me a three quarters of an inch clearance when the casters are lowered between the floor and the bottom of my base and it will give me a quarter of an inch when these are raised up right so between the wheel and the floor when the casters are in their up position and so folks here we go here it is with all of the casters on you can see that they're in the locked and upright position or allowing it to roll around. Lift each of them up and the base sits solidly on the floor. So with a little bit of assistance, I've got the jointer set into the base and I love it. It's very easy to roll it around. The reason that I really like this is I can move it not only forward and back or just in and out of the wall, I can move it any very easily in any axis that I want, well, X, Y axis that I want to. And it lifts it far enough off of the ground. I've got carpeting in this shop and the edges where that rolls onto the plywood floor isn't always particularly smooth. Some of my other solutions catch. What would I do differently? As you know, I, I made this out of MDF. I don't like MDF in the shop very much. I know a lot of folks love it. I live in a very damp climate, and, and therefore I don't like the way that uh, the, the moisture can affect the, the MDF. Other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm actually gonna spend this afternoon replacing a couple of the other mobile stands I have in the shop with something like this. Thank you so much for watching, folks. Stay safe out there. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Chris Schmidt signing out for Key West Makers.